If you are considering using my History Revealed curriculum for your students, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to give a brief overview of how this will work for you. Let's start with the Essentials Packs. We have one for studying ancient history in the Bible, one for the Roman Empire through the 1700s, and one for the 1800s through the Korean War. In each one, you'll find a student manual, teacher guide, and what in the world CD set. When it comes to grading, we've got you covered, and I'll get to that in a minute. We've made it easy for you to get started quickly. Each chapter or unit is divided into four phases. You see, this isn't just a textbook where your kids read and take tests. We have these four different phases to learn history in four different ways so that all kinds of students, whether they enjoy reading or moving or talking or doing, can thrive. In the first phase, we'll introduce your students to the most important people and events of an era through stories they'll listen to and then they'll read articles and have a chance to talk about it, even play with it. In the second phase, your kids are going to explore a bit of what they find most interesting about this moment in history. They choose a topic and then creatively share what they've learned. For many students, this is where they really engage. In the third phase, we're going to do some great hands-on projects, which makes this the most fun phase for some students, and look briefly at cultural elements of the time through art, architecture, music, science, and cooking. Finally, in the fourth phase, we're going to bring it all together with a creative expression of the student's own choosing, ranging from journalism to art to dance, to engineering, to comedy skits, and more. As you can imagine, the chance to be creative is for some their favorite part. Now, to evaluate the student's work, since it's open-ended and creative, we've got a rubrics set for you. It will help you to encourage and critique their work. You'll be able to give feedback in a way that will be helpful and understandable for your kids to help them grow and develop. So after you have reviewed the rubric and given the unit test, if you choose to test, then you're ready to start the next unit in the book. Though these books are for middle school and high school, we have a way to involve your younger students too, so they can be a part of what their older siblings are doing. For preschool through mid-elementary kids, you'll want to look at our elementary activity books, which go unit by unit, phase by phase, with the student manual. They provide a gentle introduction to history and are lots of fun. And if you love my audio storytelling in the What in the World CDs, we've got more. The True Tales and Digging Deeper CD sets each provide hours of exciting stories and insights for each time period. With all the opportunities your kids have for learning with this curriculum, you might be wondering what kind of things they'll actually do. We'll look at some specific examples of student projects next time.